let us talk about kerberos we'll see the introduction of kerberos history and development then why uh, need of kerberos is there then uh, needham shoulder protocol we'll see the working of this protocol and applications and some weaknesses so kerberos is essentially a network security protocol and it is a part of a project athena mit and this uses a trusted third party authentication scheme and assumes that hosts are not trustworthy so assumption is that host you cannot trust so uses trusted third party authentication scheme this kerberos requires that each client each request uh, for service that means each client has to prove its identity and this does not require user to enter password every time a service is requested this kerberos uses needham shoulder algorithm so let us see the history uh, how it started and uh, credit goes to whom so steve miller and clifford newman designed the primary kerberos version version 1 to 3 occurred only internally at massachusetts institute of technology mit as the part of project athena and windows 2000 was microsoft first system to implement kerberos security standard then version 5 designed by john call and again clifford newman appeared in 1993 the recent update is the encryption and checksum specifications the clarification of the protocol with more detailed and clearer explanation of intended use we are talking about kerberos recent updates and a new addition of the gss api that is generic security service gss and application program interface so a new addition of this gss api specification so what is the need why we are talking about kerberos today Authent authentication divides up resources with capabilities between many users then requirement of of authentication when restriction of users access to resources then typical authentication methods like passwords so these are the authentication required and authentication needed when you divide the resources between many users you restrict user use users to uh, certain resources and you typically you know have this passwords as an authentication but regular password authentication is somewhat not helpful or useless in the face of the computer network for example in the ne internet because system hackers can easily intercept these password while on the wire because as you type you you press your keyboard so my ascii key goes and if it is connected to the network it can easily be intercepted then firewalls makes a, a ris risky assumption what is that that attackers are coming from outside in reality attackers frequently come from inside only right firewalls always thinks okay someone outside will attack but what about people or what about uh, the threat which is uh, there inside so assume that bad guys or those who want to harm your system computer or data are on the outside while the real damaging one can be inside first is to restrict uh, use of network now kerberos does what it assumes that network connections rather than servers and workstations are the weak link in network security this is the first assumption that network connections wherever it comes this is the most weakest link as far as security is concerned so let us see the actual working of kerberos because diagrammatically it will be more viable and more feasible to understand so what it does the essential thing the essential idea of kerberos is 
that the passwords can be uh, by uh, by means of spoofing can be hacked or can be you know taken away or uh, for any other misleading activity or misuse can be done now the basic idea is that when a user request or it it wants to you know log first it has to log on then it has to send a request for the service so what it does is first of all just please watch it carefully this pc maybe it windows unix or mac it sends a ticket request to the kdc this kdc is kerberos distribution center now once this pc is authenticated with kerberos distribution uh, you can say s kds the server the ticket has been sent again back to the user now user now has received the ticket okay now the authentication part is covered now user wants some services for that it sends the service to the kerberos distribution center and if at all again the time stamp which is being provided is within the limit the service ticket is sent to the to the system to the user now the key which is sent is not available with the user is only available with kdc so this kdc this particular fourth service ticket sent contains also that key which is only known which is only available with the kdc now this sends a service request and it presents as a ticket also the ticket also is been presented to any of the application server maybe kerberos telnet or ftp server any any application server or service uh, service server now this is ticket has been presented now this server knows that this key has been received from here because user does not have it now for that the service has been opened or service this user is allowed to use the service for example this there is an example we have taken open channel for telnet this is how the whole process takes place and in this uh, explanation we have used ass authentication server kdc as key distribution center tgs is ticket granting server ss is service uh, server and tgt as ticket granting ticket so uh, we are still in the working user client based logon step while the user wants to log on so user enters a username and password on a client machine first thing is that okay i i woke up in the morning i entered username and password the client performs a one way function on the entered password and this becomes the secret key for the client user right this client performs a one way function on this password on th and this per password and this becomes the secret key of the client user now the client authentication step will be held at where as authentication server so the client sends a message to the authentication server requesting services on behalf of the user right if the client is in database if author uh, as uh, database things matches with the client means if the client is in database as says as this authentication server sends back message with the client decrypts uh, which the client decrypts to obtain the client and tgs session key for further communication with tgs so now tgs server provides okay you can do uh, you are um, allowed to do things now but you have this tgs session key this session key has uh, a time stamp maybe you know for example if you take 8 hours now client has logged on or as has sent that okay now you are with us this client sends messages to tgs now this is ticket granting server to to get this client tgs session key using tgs secret key which the client processes now and send send following two messages to the client client to server ticket encrypted using the services secret key and client server session key encrypted with the client tgs session key okay now you just understand because it might be so uh confusing at 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 a first go the client sends something to tgs which has some session key and some key to encrypt and decrypt 
now the client service request steps are like this the clients now can authenticate itself to the this server okay now service uh, server the ss the service server decrypts ticket to ultimately retrieve authenticator and sends confirmation to client then this client decrypts the confirmation using the client server session key which it holds and connection is set up so authentication all authorization these are some applications of uh, kerberos also has the confidentiality within uh, networks and small set of networks and weakness is the single point of failure everything will be failed everything will be down okay and it requires synchronization of involved host clocks because time st uh, stamping and session keys are the key while we are talking about kerberos and the administration protocol is not standardized still you know the things are going on uh, maybe by the time we are talking it has already been done and compromise of central server is compromise all user secret key because everything is dependent on the central server authentication server and if the secret keys are compromised it will be difficult to you know hold it back because if stolen tgt can be used to access network services of others hope you got a basic idea of kerberos uh, let me reiterate before going that what is happening is that we need a password only single password to enter to various services which are available for that a user enters and log on and then then it goes to various servers you know you don't have to consider or um, you know go into detail the user logs on it pro it is provided with various keys and various tgts and through tgs but when it has received it no other no other person because once authorized one once received a tgt it can access any of the services without anybody spoofing in without anybody knowing your password so password consideration is the most important aspect of this kerberos thank you so much take care